Hi, I'm Chris Kennedy, and I'm going to show you how the Master Shots books work on an iPad. You can, of course, use these on a desktop computer as well, but I'll just show you how we navigate. If you just pinch with two fingers, you can come down here, and there are several ways to navigate. You can just skim across the bottom like this till you see a chapter that you want to look at, or you can scroll along here until you see a title of a chapter that you want to look at. I prefer this at the bottom because it's more visual. So if we pick this chapter here, I can see that here I can look through the stills from the film itself. If I want to look at them larger, I just pinch out like that and it'll fill the screen. And I can still scroll through at full size. And then just pinch again to bring that back into the book. Move on to the next page. And here we have the diagram showing how the shot works. I can look at those on the page just by flicking across. And then I can either pinch or double tap to bring that to full size. I can even zoom in larger if I want a better look at that and how it's set up. Pinch out to get rid of that. And then at the bottom of the page, there are two versions of the clip. One is just showing you how the shot works. There's music in the background, but this is really just so you can see how the shot is meant to be executed. And then there's this second version where I talk over the shot in more detail. And you can freeze at a particular point if you want as well. Just tap once and then press pause. You can play again if you want to hear what I'm saying. Once again, I'm just going to pinch out to navigate to a different part of the book. And each of these books has 25 shots. So we have Master Shots Action, Suspense and Story. And each of those takes 25 shots from the three Master Shots books to cover the most important aspects of story, suspense and action. And this is proving to be a fantastic teaching aid. As well as being really great for filmmakers to use themselves, this is such a strong visual way to show students what you're talking about. So you can just show students a clip to illustrate the point. Rather than having to talk through it and, and explain what this might look like, they actually get to see what it is that you're talking about. And of course, you can connect your iPad to a larger screen. Very easy to display this in a classroom. Or you can provide students with a copy of the ebook for themselves. So although the paperback books contain 300 shots between them and the ebooks only cover 75, this can be a better way to explore the shots because film is about motion. And rather than just having to imagine the motion, you can see exactly how the shot would work if you were to go out and use it for yourself.